man was here 100,000 years ago. We think that um, probably they came from Africa. The currents and uh, the wind came from Africa till here. This is Simon Romero for the New York Times in the Serra da Capivara National Park. Here, in the forbidding thorn forests of Brazil's Piauí state, archaeologists say their discoveries are contributing to a pivotal reevaluation of how humans first came to the Americas. What archaeologists are finding here at this incredibly remote site is evidence of human habitation going back tens of thousands of years, which totally upends previous theories of human migration across the Bering Strait, across North America, across the Amazon rainforest, and into this part of Brazil. Today we have 945 sites with rock art. French Brazilian archaeologist Dr. Nied Guidon has overseen digs here since the 70s. New findings throughout the hemisphere are upending the Clovis first theory a prevailing belief of 20th century archaeology in the United States that humans began arriving in the Americas about 13,000 years ago. The research in Brazil is trying to determine how early lands empty of humankind were settled. They have these structures to make fire. We took samples of um, the stones that were heated by the fire and it was possible to date by a thermoluminescence to 100,000 years. A Beringia, só como ponte biogeográfica para se atravessar, para que os grupos humanos atravessassem da Ásia para a América, provavelmente não foi a única ponte nem num único período. Dr. Guidon's assertion that humans lived here 100,000 years ago has not been widely embraced. But research up and down the Americas increasingly reveals signs of human habitation long before Clovis hunters began appearing. Dr. Guidon first came to Piauí to study the rock art left by ancient people. Excavating beneath these striking paintings, she says she found stone tools and remnants of ancient fires. Archaeologists have also unearthed more recent burial sites and fossils of extinct megafauna like giant sloths and saber-toothed cats. Critics dispute some of their findings, claiming that sharpened stones could have been made as the result of rockfall or by monkeys. But the researchers here say the stones show clear evidence of human craftsmanship. A sua quebra, pelo que a gente chama de aquecimento, ela vai ficar bem côncava e bem convexa. A outra parte sem orientação de retirada. Quando é antrópica, não. Quase sempre você vai conseguir orientar exatamente de onde foi é, feito a retirada. Dr. Guidon is now retired from active research, but teams of Brazilian and European archaeologists continue the work she began at a world-class institute. A museum she founded here. In 2013, a French led team published findings placing the human presence in Piauí as far back as 22,000 years. As scholars advance beyond Clovis I, this region, long mired in poverty, is now emerging as a flashpoint for research and discovery. In addition to the museum and laboratories, a public university now trains young archaeologists, many from towns near the stunning park. É uma emoção assim, acho que a maior de todas que foi o contato com o povo mesmo, né? A questão de achar o enterramento deles, saber que aqui era, né, um antepassado assim, alguém que viveu há muitos anos aqui na região. 